I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready! I forgot something, I forgot something! Now I'm really ready! Now I'm really ready! Woo! I'm so excited to go to Glove World! I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is. Or who I am. Come back after my alarm goes off. I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule. I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket. Unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. Insomniac rooster? In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks, but you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. Ah. I think you might have missed a few spots. Did I get smaller or did these tukies get bigger? Great job, SpongeBob. My yard's looking fine as far as a frog. Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick! <laughs> ah, my beloved Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe! Good morning, best friend! Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. Nah. Am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. An eternity later. <laughs> Look, Patrick. Cool kids. Hi. <laughs> I wish I could do cool things. This dragon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Uh, nah, still not cool enough. Huh? huh? Can I have this? What, this old piece of... magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh! 47 seconds later. I wish... No. I wish... No. I wish... Oh, okay, 
My first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest, balloonyest adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, property of King Neptune, not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh. <laughs> What have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! Oh, I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh. I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! Good thing Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All that's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Ouch. Looks pretty broken. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Bikini Bottom eat now! And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this! Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this! Multicellular idiots! 
Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Correct. Oh, no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In. Correct. Yoo-hoo! Over here, my little blunders. My adorable cuties. You survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra! We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom! And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss my Gear Bear! Oh, <laughs> this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Oh, boys! You must feel all Ooh, I look one. like some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I wonder if there's a name for... One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. Strong feeling we're not bikini bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. from my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, lots of money? Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Phew, what a fun ride. Yeah, let's get in line and ride it again. I don't care what Cassandra wants with this stuff. The only thing I make out of jelly is jelly sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! 
Oh, we'll never fit in there. Why do we have to be so big? No, oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. We're safe, Patrick. It's Mrs. Puff. If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her. She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Luggage doing in the middle of the desert. I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. Look, more loose luggage. How do we get across? I think that's a button. death experiences on this ranch before. Well, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mm, I love ranch. I saw Shiny over there. Sounds like an adventure within our adventure. Double adventure! Just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license! Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fay. I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready, set, and go! scored 35.7 points. Go around! Phew! 
Phew, that was a close one. Keep on smashing! SpongeBob, look out! That's all the clothes! You have six points <laughs> out of seven. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. <laughs> Here's your license. Thanks, partner. Oh, license. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Oh, I don't think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals. With the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. We made it to Manta Fey, my floating friend. My butt is killing me from all that riding you had to do. Look, it's Sandy. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann, better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sips straight. We're going to have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! Of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh oh, looks like it wants to duel.
familiar-looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%? I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them cacteen hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick, let's find those thorny cucumbers! <laughs> Checking on the barrels, you know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's juicy profit, I mean, uh, cacti, all around these parts. Now get! This is it, Patrick! That juicy cactus gold awaits us! Yee!
Ooh, that looks fun. I bet I can get down faster than you. Don't live longer in the city. It just seems that way. bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. You got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for, uh, <laughs> safekeeping. Did you drop the mini, uh, <laughs> juice in... Trail, my little s
gonna need more sap than that, boyo. Is it just me, or is everything in this place going to hurt us? We melt those cactuses for all they were worth. I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature. Like... a goose. I can't tell if we've gone this way yet. It's so dark. Howdy, strangelings. What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost! It's all mine! We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. 
knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. If I was a tooth on the loose in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole! Ew, it smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell is not good. I swear. Oh, we got the monitor too! Hurry, let's go back to the monitor before something comes looking for it. With a bit of gold nugget, you'd be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. Your bit is all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. <laughs> Two hours later. Hurry up, Patrick! We got ourselves a train to catch! May I? Funny coincidence, huh? Bandits steal our train and Mr. Krabs happens to be on it. <laughs> Hold on! Mr. Krabs is the red-handed bandit! We have to get closer so we can bring him home!
me, Joe's Locker, SpongeBob. I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay. Please. You're under arrest, red-handed bandit. Like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. me a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now, off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows everything! <laughs> it's like she has this... SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie. I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. 